The Medicare Rural Hospital Flexibility Program, or FLEX for short, encourages the development of cooperative systems of care in rural areas, joining together critical access hospitals, emergency medical service providers, clinics, and health practitioners to increase efficiencies and quality of care. In federal fiscal year 2018, FLEX programs were eligible to apply for and receive supplemental funding for one year to support in-depth technical assistance to rural EMS systems. This video showcases the successes of one state's supplemental project. Our EMS agencies, uh, we have 67 counties and 280 different agencies. These agencies may be fire-based, uh, they may be uh, private, they may be county-based services. Uh, a lot of our rural services are, are, are more county-based than some private. Dixie County is a small rural EMS agency. Uh, we pride ourselves in excellent patient care and good equipment. Uh, uh, we are multi-agency. In Dixie County, we live by the motto, One Team, One Mission. We encompass fire, EMS, 911, and emergency management um, to provide care to the 17,000 residents we have here in Dixie County. Our uh, coverage area is 704, 705 square miles. Uh, we are kind of unique because we're surrounded by water on three sides. We have the Gulf of Mexico, the Swanee River, and the Steenhatchee River. So uh, it's a kind of interesting challenge. We're 52 miles to the closest hospital. We're bringing data into the state EMS office through our NEMSIS program. Uh, and then we're providing this back to our rural counties in near real time. This initiative addresses quality, addresses population health, and then downrange, you know, we hope to use this data to do more than, than just those two things. As with any rural EMS, uh, funding's always the main challenge. And uh, having the resources and access to the appropriate tools that we need to do a better job. We provided our rural agencies with the system, but then we determined we're not using it. Uh, and we're like, why are they not using it? So our strategic objective was to help them use it to, in daily operations. We did have surprises in this project when, you know, because uh, me, I'm thinking we're going to implement a project and we're going to start looking at good data and, and hit the ground running with improvements. No, it's not that easy. The data quality issues were very apparent when we started looking at these. And what it did is it flushed out those, those data quality issues. Uh, it allowed us to look and, you know, kind of refocus and say, hey, we can't just go off and do quality improvement. Now we got to go back in and correct this. And now we're on, we're on that path to improving quality. Yeah, we can provide them data. Yeah, we can provide them a way to look at the data. But the need goes past that. It goes past the, the, the state EMS office. It goes past that of the EMS director. We need to change that culture uh, at the ground level to focus on quality, not just you know, focus on, on on providing care, but we want to focus them on providing good care. When we updated our reporting software, there were some data entries that needed to be addressed, some errors that needed to be addressed. This program allows me to see those data, to pull those uh, data errors out, and to address that with my staff to make those corrections on the, how they report their data. The data allows us to see the factual analysis of what we need to do and what things that we need to work on instead of things that we you know, just perceive as, as needed. And it shows how our data compares to the rest of the state and the national. So I think another important factor is, is the ability to actually take the data that, that we get and, and introduce that to our staff members, to our paramedics in the field and, and get their buy-in. But change is hard. Change is always comes with resistance. But when you have solid data and solid proven practices that, that you can show that what they do can be enhanced by, by utilizing this data, it makes it a lot easier as a director. So what this has done is now it has allowed us to take the data that, that allows us to show the best practices and the best patient care that we can give. In turn, we, we then improve the skill levels of our first responders. They'll have better patient outcomes and it'll make their career more rewarding. Every county already has a overburdened EMS system. The more that we can analyze you know, what it is we're doing in the field to try to keep some of those transports down, try to keep the waiting time from, from off the stretcher onto a hospital bed because they're being tied up with patients that, that maybe could have been treated in, in the field uh, through uh, emergency paramedicine. There's just greater avenues to, to be explored, but you have to have the data, you have to have the information, and you have to have the statistics to prove it. Well, some of the practices that we're initiating is we're changing our sepsis protocol, the use of antibiotics for sepsis patients, 
and, and to get it on board early uh, with this, as proof with this data. The community paramedicine program is, is the stuff that we're starting as well with the data proving that this is going to be useful to keep this program going and to save on the number of calls that we have that community paramedicine can alleviate. The community paramedicine program will allow us to, to reduce the number of unneeded transports to a hospital. This program allows me as a leader to show the data and the reasons why I need to make changes to certain policies or certain protocols in the way we do our day-to-day -day business and show the reasons and be transparent with our staff on why we need to make these changes to improve on the way we take care of patients. They can engage their coalitions on fall prevention programs or, or even opioid addiction and things like that because they can uh, show them in near real time what is happening in that area. And that's the kind of engagement that we're starting to see. We're starting to see it flourish. I believe this program is very adaptable to other agencies as long as they have somebody that's passionate enough to put their self into the data and to pull out what they need to make their program better.